Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a quick demo of uh, how to do bit shift operations. It is something that's actually, uh, at least for me, was a little complicated to actually grasp. But uh, once you actually get a hold of it, it's actually quite simple and such a powerful technique to use. Because, uh, say for example, you're working on a project that has an uh, interface to a system, a device. And say that device has 16 different things that... It, it can report status on like discrete values like these are 0 or 1 it's either on or off um, you could in that system just have 16 different integers representing each one of those um, 16 pieces of data but that's kind of like a waste of resources there because since it's just a 1 or a 0 why actually allocate the whole integer which is 32 bits um, or depending on which int variable you use, a short 16 bits, an int is 32 bits, and I think there's an int 64, which is 64 bits, it's just a waste of resources. But since an integer, at least uh, the regular int, default int, here is uh, 32 bits, you can actually stuff those 16 different pieces of data within that device and uh, just put it in one variable. So then when you're program has to talk to that machine it only has to make one call instead of 16 which uh, reduces network latency and network traffic and then all you need to do is just parse the bit within that integer for each one of those uh, pieces of data that you are required to actually parse out so it saves time and the amount of traffic you need to actually generate to communicate with the device and at the same time uh, just less processing on your end so without further ado let me just kind of go ahead with this demo here and I'm just gonna pick in this demo I'm actually not connecting to a real device or anything so I'm just gonna be doing like a little while loop here just to iterates and uh, just keeps prompting on which bit position you want to extract and what bit position you want to write to but um, let's just say there's an int variable bits called or uh, to say that is assigned to the value 1063 if you actually get uh, the calculator from Windows and open it up by default it comes up here but if you click on view put prep programmer select decimal if you put any decimal uh, shoot what am I doing I keep pushing delete I'm sorry there if you click hex that's what is represented as in hex 427 and if you click binary that's how it's represented as a binary string so let's just let me just get it here just so I can you guys can use it as a reference and when you do bit uh, when you're actually extracting bits from a, a integer value this is basically what you're going to be extract, extracting bits from you know you're either going to get a one or a zero because a bit is just a one or a zero so let me just kind of continue on this input string here is going to be used just for user interaction. It's going to prompt me uh, what bit position do I want to extract from, and I'm going to use that input string to actually take that uh, on my choice. So just follow along for now. I'm just going to have this infinite while loop. And right now, what I'm going to write at the very beginning of the program is just a simple, um, just a print statement about what the current state of this uh, bits variable here that we're going to be parsing out. So, current bits. And I want to display it in binary form as well. Take the value bits and two basically just two basically tells it uh, display it for me but within uh, binary string format. So let me see what's it complaining about. Okay, forgot to add that plus there. That should be good. And now I'm actually going to be reading some more of the user's input over here. So after that. I'm going to prompt the user what bit position you want to extract. Okay, 
I'm just going to read his input into console line. And I'm just going to make sure that uh, whatever I enter in is actually a number and not just a blank space. So as long as I enter in something here, here's where the bit extracting happens. So first I'm just going to take in the user input and uh, parse it into an int. And then let me just type this out first and then I'll explain a little bit what's actually going to be happening. Okay, so basically what's happening over here is I'm uh, just taking user's input, I'm setting the main bits into this extracted bit variable here, and the position I want to parse out, say for example, is 2, I'm going to be setting it to 1 and extracting it 2 times to the left, so in the end this is going to be extracted, but let me just kind of put this in the comments here, extracted bit and in this example one shifted over twice is going to look like this so basically it's going to get it's going to look at the actual bits over here and it's going to add this with this so basically this program if I enter in 2 is going to return 1 why is that because the bit at position 2 here which is this variable here or this bit position is actually one just like this so it's going to return one if I were to actually say uh, give me the bit at uh, position three then this within this parentheses here is going to look like this and it's going to end it with the actual extracted bit which is set to this and at position three it's going to grab the zero. So what happens when you end zero with one, you get a zero. So and that basically tells you what's at that bit position. So without further ado, let me just kind of go ahead and just show you a quick demo. Um, give me bit position two. Bit at position two is one. There we go. Give me the bit value at position three, like I was mentioning. It's going to be zero. So basically this is how you actually extract something from a bit. So if, if that machine device has 16 different data items uh, or diff da data components associated with it, you can just make one int call and then parse out the ex exact bit. Maybe this bit value here represents, uh, I don't know, one aspect of a machine. And this second one references uh, another aspect of the machine. So you only need to make one call, as I said. It's a big, huge benefit when it comes to uh, just avoiding traffic and everything that you that you have and any performance requirements that you may have okay so now we're going to go ahead and actually write a bit within that binary string so just like last time I'm going to actually ask the user bit value to write and this is either going to be one or zero because that's all a bit represents that into an int and I'm going to make another local variable here in reg register and have it set to bits And after all the bit operation is done here, I'm just going to print out the result. OK, 
Okay, so I think I have everything set. Now if I go ahead and continue with this demo, it's going to first ask me uh, which bit position I want to extract. Since I included this code within the same method of the writing, this is going to happen first. Uh, let's just say whatever, give me the bit at bit position 5. It is 1 and that is true because this right here is the 5th bit position. Now it's going to ask me what do I want to write. Uh, let me write 0. Oops. Oh. I forgot something here guys. I actually forgot to ask for the uh, bit position to actually write to. So hold on. Let me just kind of backtrack. I'm going to go back over here and actually update it. Okay, I, I see where I forgot. Silly me. Okay, after asking the user what bit value to actually write to, I gotta ask him um, what bit position you want to write it to. Sorry for that, guys. Small hiccup. Okay, now we're good. So all I'm doing is basically just asking for the bit position that the user wants to write to. And uh, with that, I'm going to do the appropriate bit shifting here to actually write to that uh, spot within the integer register. So now if we do this again, bit position to extract, I want to do the same thing as before, bit position 5. This time, it's asking me what I want to write. I want to add, write the bit value 0 and I want to write it to position 5. So this one over here, once I enter 5, you'll see there that it's now 0. If I want to extract from that position again, you'll see it's 0. If I want to write back a 1 there, you'll see that it's set over there. And I can continue doing this for every other bit position that's in this int register. If I want to extract bit position 0 or 7, it's 0. If I want to set that position to 1, you'll see that it's actually set to 1 here. So uh, it, it's pretty easy and it's pretty it's a pretty fast way of actually uh, just minimizing the overhead of not having to make 12 different interface calls or 16 different interface calls to the machine for you know 16 different data points. You know you can just make one call and do it. Uh, basically parse out the int register that it passes back and you can get the state if it's on, off, one, zero, good, bad and uh, just kind of continue on with the processing of your program but uh, this demo here was uh, call it pretty simple. It wasn't anything too complicated but you know with bit shifting it actually isn't that complicated. It just takes a little bit of uh, getting your head used to the idea of uh, just how to handle bit shifting and just handle stuff at a bit level. So there it is. I hope it was actually informational for you guys and if you have any questions please let me know. Thanks.